Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Khalufi Dhamida, your teacher trainer and in this video I'm going to give you some guidelines to understand the course published online. As you know that this course is targeted to all teachers dealing with English for biology. This presentation aims at clarifying the main characteristics of biology research articles. It presents the main linguistic aspects and research moves involved in the reading process. Uh, those moves are reflected in the IMRD uh, structure or pattern, which presents the main aspects of describing and analyzing scientific research articles. By the end of this unit, you will be able to Examine the rhetorical structure of biology research articles. Recognize the organizational patterns and discourse markers of the academic journal in question. And analyze the information expressed in a critical way. As far as the whole structure is concerned, the academic article can be understood through one known structure. All academics follow in scientific writing, which is the IMRD structure. IMRD stru stands for uh, Introduction, Method, Results and Discussion. The whole pattern is initiated by an abstract that summarizes the overall research process. Uh, in the article, you find the always the present a pre a precise title an abstract uh, review of the literature methods and materials results and discussion with the conclusion and implications at the last part you find documentation or list of references when reading the abstract you focus on four main steps which are the purpose of the study, description of the methodology, summary of the results, presenting the conclusion with the main recommendations. The tasks related to this section are reflect reflected in reading comprehension activities where you read extracts and identify the elements of the information. As far as the introduction section is concerned, the introduction aims at creating a research space. The whole structure of the introduction in research in academic research is mainly of a problem-solution pattern, which means that most introductions you find a problem-solution pattern, where always there is a presentation of the problem, and then uh, in order to make a call for a uh, future or for present or even future solutions. Uh, the introduction section also includes also a reference to previous knowledge. The main steps you find in the introduction, you find claiming centrality, which shows the main concern of the research, making topic generalization, reviewing items of pre previous research. Uh, this step is used to support the research work. In science, supporting previous works is used highly in order to signal the importance of the new one. Uh, the next step you find making a counterclaim for previous studies. Then you find indicating a gap, raising a question, and then you find announcing present research uh, by mentioning the purpose of the present research. And you find indicating the structure or the global structure of the academic uh, research. In introductions also, there is the presence of items for a direct reference, which signal the present uh, research through this, the present, reported here, now, herein, etc. Some examples to signal uh, the present research. Uh, this paper reports on the results obtained, etc. The aim of the present paper is to give, etc. In this paper, we give prim preliminary results of the main purpose of the experiment reported here was to this study was designed to evaluate etc and the present work extends the use of the last model etc now this is the main big bibliography i used to uh, design the content of the present course now this video is for the introductory sections which means that for the abstract and the introduction in the next video you find some guidelines uh, which may help you understand the results and uh, the method and the results and discussion uh, sections thank you very much everybody uh, goodbye